the angle is zero, which is just the same as zero degree, right? And this is actually a quadratic angle, so this is how we can do it. Just go ahead and call out the unit circle. So let me put on a circle right here. Zero degree, that means you look at this and the point right here on the unit circle. Well, the coordinate here is one comma zero. This is the X and this is the Y, and this is all we need because sine is the Y value on the unit circle. Well, it's just going to be zero. And then cosine is going to be the X value on the unit circle, which is just one. Well, if you divide it by R, well, R is equal to one, so it doesn't really matter. And then tangent is Y over X, which is zero over one, which is zero. Now, we know all these are just the reciprocal of these guys. So cosecant is 1 over 0, and we get n defined. And then for secant, we get 1 over 1, which is still 1. For cotangent, we get 1 over 0. So this is n defined. And that's it. Done. Angle is negative 3 power by 2. So we are going to multiply this by 180 degrees over pi. And we will see that this is the same as negative 270 degrees. This is actually a quadratic angle. So we are going to use the unit circle. Well. Remember, negative angle, we go clockwise, so we are looking at this right here, and let's go ahead and put on the unit circle here, and put the point down, and we know this coordinate right here is going to be 0, 1. Here is the x, and here is the y. And now we're in business, because sine is just the y value on the unit circle, which is 1, cosine is just the x value on the unit circle, which is 0, and tangent is y over x. 1 over 0 is undefined, unfortunately, huh? And then, cosecant of it's just 1 over 1, right, which is 1. And then secant is just 1 over 0, that's n defined. And then cotangent, though, is x over y, which is 0 over 1, which is 0. Don't look at this as 1 over n defined, that doesn't really make much sense. So x over y, 0. The angle is pi, which is the same as 180 degrees. Well, this is a quadrant angle, so this is how we can do it. Just go ahead and call out the unit circle, and then 180 degrees from here to here, right? So just put the points down, and then remember, the coordinate right here is negative 1, 0. And this right here is x, and this right here is y, and that's all we need. We are in business. Because sine is just the y value on the unit circle, so we just have the 0 right here. And cosine is just the x value on the unit circle, so we have negative 1. Because the r is just 1, so if you divide it by 1, doesn't matter, right? So this is it. And then tangent is just going to be y over x. 0 over negative 1, we get 0. Now for all this, you know the deal, we are going to do the reciprocal. 1 over 0, we get n defined. And then secant is 1 over negative 1, which is still negative 1. And cotangent, we get 1 over 0. Again, it is also undefined, just like this. And we are done.